So why do we change the fuel filter? Well, for a start, the exhaust fumes will steadily become blackened and dirty over time. Also, you will begin to experience a drop in engine performance, a drop in your mileage per gallon. You may even notice the engine stall. Changing the fuel filter will also save you money in the long run. Changing the fuel filter yourself will also help you avoid overpriced mechanics where possible. Step 1 is to disconnect the control valve. The control valve is a T-shaped tube at the back of the fuel filter. Remove the retaining clip and gently remove the valve from the bracket. Step 2 is to remove the fuel lines. The fuel lines are connected to the fuel tank and the injector pump. The fuel lines are secured by a hose clip. To remove these, use a pliers or a screwdriver. Gently remove the hoses by twisting them with the pliers. Make sure not to damage the hoses. Step 3 is to remove the oil fuel filter from the retaining clip. To remove the fuel filter from the retaining clip, loosen the retaining clip with a screwdriver. Fill the new fuel filter with diesel. This will prevent any airlocks entering the engine when starting up. After 5 minutes or so, the fuel would have soaked into the filter. Top it up with more diesel. Here I'm removing the old o rings from the control valve. Use the pliers to disconnect them from the valve. Roll the new O-rings onto the control valve. Secure the new fuel filter inside the bracket by tightening it up with a screwdriver. Press the control valve down until it clicks and then replace the retaining clip. Replace the fuel line coming from the fuel tank and secure it by screwing the hose clip tightly around it. Next is to replace the fuel line coming from the injector pump using the same method. 